guys welcome back to my channel my name is Mercedes Saf. for you guys that are new guys welcome welcome to the family the lady next door decides that it's time for her today when I want to film she wants to mow her lawn like the flip so I hope you guys won't be hearing much of her because it's like I can actually hear it and it's irritating me and I am in such a good mood like if you live in England you know what's happening right now the weather is A1 and that is something that does not happen often here so when it does happen everyone gets their pum pum shorts out I, I went in with the winter sale you guys pretty little thing boohoo I got myself some maxi dresses and I'm just so excited with the weather because I can finally wear them and just and just look cute okay so today I am doing the long-awaited Q&A pregnancy Q&A and you guys asked me some questions on snapchat and I'm ready to answer them for you guys the first question was from someone who's actually pregnant themselves and she says, well, I'm pregnant at the moment, but let's just say I'm clueless about a lot of things. Well, so am I. This is, And I am clueless about a lot of things. Thank God I've got my mum. I can just ask her anything. And like I've always said to you guys, my mum's like my dictionary. Like she knows everything. Like she's like Google. She just knows everything. It makes me feel better about a lot of things that do worry me and a lot of things that are going on. And as you guys know, um, at the beginning of my pregnancy, I was obsessed with net um with the web md i was obsessed with these pregnancy platforms where people just go there and they just go and discuss how their pregnancy is going and to be honest it didn't do me any good at all so the fact that i've got my mom and i can turn to her and ask her anything um is great so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to share some of that wisdom with you guys today how did you transition from first trimester to second trimester i I think the biggest challenge from my first trimester to my second trimester was, you know, um, actually looking pregnant and feeling more pregnant. The biggest transition from first trimester to second trimester is actually deeping the fact that you are pregnant, you are having a baby and yeah, this is what we're doing. Someone said, how do you deal with weeing episodes? How do I deal with weeing episodes? Oh gosh guys let me just say as, as soon as i leave my house as soon as i close my door like i suddenly have the urge to just pee and it's the worst thing ever because i can't get from one destination to another without needing a pee break and it really really irritates me especially at times when i have to pick up rio and i'm like walking to his school or i take a taxi every time i get to real school i'm like okay hold. i'm like hold up hold up to the teacher i need to run to the toilet so it is one of those things that you just you just kind of have to do with it. I think as a pregnant woman, you have to be um, alert. You have to be really you have to really think about where you're going and if there are any toilet facilities around because at any given point you will need the toilet. And this is a bit TMI, but the other day, oh gosh, guys, I had like my first pee in episode. I actually peed myself, and I was like. I just let it, I, 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 I just let it dribble guys, I was just like dribble dribble dribble, okay it's happening, whatever, but yeah, I peed myself and I, <laughs> it was so funny Then I went downstairs, I'm like oh my god mom, mom, like a two year old, you would not believe what happened to me, I've just peed my pants and it is it's just that guys my i can't control my um bladder anymore it's one of those things or it's either the baby is just sat right there and she doesn't want to move because she's a princess like that she's she loves to sit on my bladder so half of the time she is sat on my bladder and as i'm walking i can actually feel her right there and i'm like can you just like move to the left or move to the right why do you have to sit right there but yeah guys i had like my first wing episode i always make sure that everywhere i'm going i have I need to plan for the toilet I need to plan for the journey so it's either before I leave the house I use the toilet when I get to my destination I use the toilet or if I'm walking around and I have a day out then I just find somewhere close where there is a toilet but yeah. someone said how do you tackle 
um, tiredness during pregnancy. So I would just suggest that you get a lot of rest when you're at home. You find time to actually just get your full hours of sleep. And I know because you're pregnant, it's harder to actually go to sleep. So just go to bed a few hours earlier just so you can get all your hours of sleep and some more just so that during the day you're not too tired but if you can like sneak in a nap during the day i would suggest that you do so what to ask your midwife at appointments well as i've been having an easy pregnancy there's not really much that has been going on with me um to the point where i have to sit there and kind of quiz her and ask her questions i would say just ask if you have any concerns ask your midwife if anything is going on with your body that you don't understand ask your midwife that's what they're there for they're basically just there to keep your mind at ease and they're there to give you information about things that you may or that things that you may not understand someone said how do you deal with mood swings i am the worst you guys i can't even lie to you i need help on this one as well everyone in the house has this ongoing joke is that do we have happy mercy today or do we have moody mercy so i would say with the mood swings just try to keep yourself upbeat try to be as happy as you can um sometimes i know it's hard but you just need to realize that the people around you they ain't done that into you because i'm one of those people i tend to lash out i tend to cry and yeah i will have to apologize to mom and coco when this pregnancy is over because oh my god they've they've been through a lot with this pregnancy especially when it comes to mood swings sometimes i'm happy sometimes i'm sad sometimes i just want to be on my own try your hardest to be in a positive space try your hardest to wake up and just say you know what today i'm gonna be happy allow this i'm not gonna let my mood swings get me down because I don't know what's going on with the hormones, but sometimes, mm -mm, because I'm such a loud character, it's kind of like, okay, when I'm quiet, it's like, okay, what's wrong? Tell us what's wrong. And as much as I want to say nothing is wrong, there is something wrong, but there's nothing wrong. So you kind of just need to keep a balance between just waking up and trying to be happy and just feeling low and down. Or someone said, when do you start feeling baby move? Um, it really depends. Um, some people no, um, notice baby movement earlier than others. Um, um, second trimester, I would think that you should kind of start to feel your baby move. Um, but it's one of those things which you have to pay attention to because you, if you're busy and you're up and down all the time, you, 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 you can miss those moments. So it's one of those things that you really, really have to be paying attention to. But I would say second trimester is when baby is supposed to start moving do you know the sex <laughs> oh my god you know what? I, th I think i know why they asked this question so we thought the baby was a boy then the baby was a girl and then yeah it's a girl it's still a girl and some people think i'm having twins boy and a girl some people think i'm still having a boy some people still think i'm having a girl it's just like one major big confusion so guys yes i know the sex of my baby and it is a baby girl someone said um my biggest craving okay at the beginning of my pregnancy i craved chicken wings oh my god i really want chicken wings right now but yeah, at the beginning of my pregnancy i craved chicken wings and then second trimester, I really like went into the Zim foods like Maguru Matumbo. So for you guys that don't know, tribe and stuff like that. Just the insides of animals, guys. <laughs> and some outer parts. And um, I got fed up with the chicken. Um, sometimes I just want Nando's. Sometimes I want McDonald's. But I do find myself craving really, really bad food. I don't crave anything that's good for me. That is what is irritating me. Ice cream. I really, really, really like ice cream. And this specific ice cream is my flurry ice cream. Can't be any other ice cream. So, yeah. Somebody said the best part of, the, of being pregnant. Uh -huh. I have figured out the best part of being pregnant, you guys. Every since my belly came through everybody wants to help me even the people I should be helping like old people feel like they need to help me Men bo paying boys like oh, I am not even gonna lie Everybody and their grandmom and their granddaddy feel like they want to help me Everyone wants to help me especially when I go to the shop and I'm like lifting something Everyone's like oh, can I do that for you? Oh, don't lift that. It looks a bit heavy. Oh, that's heavy, isn't it love? And I'm like, yes mm. So yeah, everybody When I go out 
everyone feels the need to help me and you know what yes thank you i would appreciate the help i never say no guys i never say no i'm enjoying all those packs of being pregnant and of course the biggest the best part about being pregnant is I don't know it's just bonding with my baby like I'm 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 like especially these days like now I'm looking I'm look I'm so looking forward to meeting her I just want her to be here already and I just want to see her little face and oh guys I'm just I'm just super super excited and I feel like she is taking the longest to come because she's just super 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 comfortable in there so that is the best part about being pregnant is me actually finally getting to meet my baby girl and i'm just ah i'm super super i'm super super excited what's the worst part of the the worst part of, the, of being pregnant is like i'm saying sometimes i do feel like i don't own my own body i feel like yeah she has completely taken over everything i do like how i feel has got something to do with her like 100% she has taken over at the moment it's not my body it's not my house this is her house and she's ruling the rooster she just does whatever she likes in there and yeah she's basically just controlling my life do I have a birth plan um yes I have a birth plan um I'm just not looking forward to the giving birth part I'm very very scared and what do you look forward to after pregnancy what am i looking forward to after pregnancy um ah guys i'm just looking forward to meeting my baby girl that's it like i just want to meet her that, that that's all i'm looking forward to i'm looking i'm actually now i'm very excited and i'm looking forward to being a mom i'm in like very very good spirits and i know that i've got like a good support network so all my feelings from before they creep in now and again but for the most part i'm just super super duper excited to meet this little princess so someone said do i have nursery slash theme for the baby so me and the baby are going to be co habiting co-sleeping yeah me and the baby are going to be co-sleeping um mom is always telling me that's the best way to bond with your baby so you guys need to sleep together and yeah wake up breathe eat everything you just need to do everything together for you to bond with your baby so um coco is surprising us and she is decorating our mummy and baby bedroom and i'm just i'm super excited to um see what she is going to bang out because she's very very good at this interior design stuff she's the one who actually um did this studio so i'm just yeah i'm excited um but i think she's got it figured out I'm not worried about that, thank God, because I, I don't like that kind of stuff. But yeah, Coco is hooking me up and she is decorating the baby's space and my space, of course. So yeah. So guys, that was my pregnancy Q&A. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any more questions for me, please do not hesitate to ask. I will be happy to answer your questions. And some of the questions you guys have asked, I will do um, separate videos for those questions because they just all bunch up into one. It would make sense to just put them in another video instead of this video. But for the most part, thank you guys for sub, sub thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. I really, really, really appreciate it. I just love to see our family grow, and ah, it just means a lot, guys. And um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.